is king in the oh. ring. I feel super less coming at you like a bullet in a pack. Ooh, I feel super less if you have to bring it on me to back you. I feel super less You cannot ask for more. The house of pain has been destroyed. I feel super less so They're both the same age. Dijic is taller, well, my goodness, and naturally I would say Jamie is just a little bit heavier, a little bit more experienced at this weight, and slightly the shorter of the two. He spoke to me with a voice so sweet, I thought I heard the shuffle of angels he called my name and my Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is semi-final fight number two. It is scheduled for three, three-minute rounds with an extra round in play in case of a draw. This fight is brought to you by NZ Boxer. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with red lettering. He now has 26 wins with nine knockouts. Representing City Kickboxing in Auckland. He's a former WKBF middleweight, Muay Thai, two-time WMC lightweight, and WMC cruiserweight, world light cruiserweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, it's just wearing, wearing white, tr white trunks with silver trim. He now has 16 wins with six knockouts. Representing ETK in the North Shore, he's a cruiser, cruiserweight WKBF and WMC Pro Cruiserweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamie, the Kyokushin Ten Eads. Three threes with the moments are free to charge is Clive Cowley. Okay, Ali back oh. in centering in control okay. of these two juggernauts. Because gloves the back of the fight. Judge! Turgic, well he's fired up. Take one, he will have done a good job in his corner. We know Jamie Ings, Eads will bring the pressure. And I don't let his record fall yet. His losses have come at the top of the blue chain. And we're underway. Turgic. Coming out of the blue corner with the red anklets. Hands a nice leg kick there. And you see Eads switches to southpaw to deliver that left kick. Turgic's doubling up on his jab. Nice little left hook there from the Turgic. He has to watch those leg kicks though. Eads will take the shot and pile drive a sledgehammer of a shin into his thigh. And there you saw one of them there through the left hook as a counter to set up the low kick. Overhand right, narrowly missing from Eads. Jab to the body from the Turgic. Eads clashing a shin into the quadricep of Maturgic. Nice check that time. And uh, that will deter you. Shin jacks, hurts a lot, Monty. Exchange of leg kicks, and, and again, Eads just the heavier of the two at this point. And both men, big kickers, long levers, finding range easy enough with hands and legs. It's good to see him intrigued how this one turns out. Already one minute into the first round. Maturgic is just waiting too long at this point. Eads is uh, just getting first shot at it. He's got Maturgic backing up. He needs to throw a little bit more to make Eads cautious about coming in. He's just taking too many of those shots to the legs. And they, might, they may not affect in this first round, but as the bout goes on, they will certainly start to load up and slow him down. Right hand to the body there from Eads. Look to see him launch a right kick off that. It's one of his favorite moves. There you go. Right on cue. Minute to go in this the first semi-final. Davor Maturgic with his back to us out of the blue corner. Jamie Eads, the Kyokushin kid, relentlessly pushing forward in the white shorts with black trim inside thigh kick from him. And again, he's at the south oh stance. He's going to be looking to deliver that body kick. Do just needs to get his hands working right on cue, upstairs, downstairs. Both men trying to change levels, trying to get a read on each other. As you said, both were finding rage easily enough. No one really putting the big shot on. Little left hook, the court aids in between there. Maturgis is just getting caught on the ropes a little bit too much, but he landed a nice slapping left hook there. Eads leaping in with the left knee. 
Found a home with that left hook. Three times now. Now look to set it up with something else. See the right hand there. Good crisp handiwork there from Maturgic as he fires a combination, gets himself back out the center ring, getting the timing right. Eads looking for the high kick, Maturgic out of the way. Maturgic looking for the uppercut as Eads slapped away to the body. Well, that is an interesting round. Maturgic landed some nice clean shots in the final minute. Eads was the aggressor and landed heavy leg kicks. I'm going to favor him. But it will be a hard one to pick for the judges. Keep doing what you're doing, it's going to come. Okay. Um, no injuries. Nah. Get your hips a bit higher. Okay. Get his arms a bit, that'll hurt him. Okay. okay. Your side's back good, bro. Right? Your guard's good. Not panicking. Yeah. Your footwork's good. Keep it up. He knows he's going to get a knock. Yeah. Two minus two. Yeah. Okay? Just got to believe in yourself and work. This is the round where you need to work. You need to win this yes. round. Okay? Got it? Believe in yourself. Clearly, Viney Monty believing okay. that uh, they're behind after that first round. Yeah, and he's saying use the two minus two, the two with the uppercut back with the long two again. You've got to be a bit more aggressive, I think. Doug Viney knows that. He's trying to create a bit more excitement, make him a bit more urgent when he goes out for the next round. As you see, a number of exchanges early with the knee there by Jamie Eads, and once again, one of his strong body kicks. Well, Eads has been very powerful with his kicks. Caught again by a left hook. That's about the fourth one that's caught him. Maturgic just needs to put a bit more acid on that. Uppercut left hook once again. Got Eads' attention and the low kick. He needs to be busy. He cannot wait with a fighter like Eads because he will just walk him down and whop away. And those kicks certainly hurt. Intercept left hand there. And a cracking right hit, right hand behind the air. And another one from Maturgic. Now he's got a bit of confidence. Eads, though, very tight guard going forward. The elbows are up high. Maturgic should use that to set up something else. Heavy kick there from Eads. Maturgic not able to grab it. There's a right hand! And Eads has been caught on the burning rock badly! He doesn't know where he is. He's in fairyland and he can't find the gnomes. Five, six, seven, eight. Hands up. I'm going. Yep. Well, there's a surprise right on the button. Jamie Eads and another one. Two knockdown wall and it's all over. And there it is. It's all over. Maturgic. Maturgic. He's chopped him down. Parted him like a tree. It's all over. What an upset for the books. Jamie Eads. He looked confident. He looked strong. He was caught right on the point of the chin by a sharp right hand. The underdog followed up. Jamie Eads must be intensely disappointing. Disappointed, rather. He was a heavy favourite for this fight. And it just goes to show this 90 kilo division, you cannot take your foot off the accelerator for a moment or you'll end up sleeping. Doug Biney now getting his man to calm down. He has a lot of work ahead of him. He needs to go backstage. He'll have sore legs. Jamie Eads kicks very hard. And again, it's just getting the adrenaline back down. All that psychic energy. And we're awaiting what has been a tremendous upset for the books. Jamie Eads tremendously disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute and 20 seconds into round number two, your referee, Clive Cowley, calls a stop to this contest for your winner by TKO and going on to the final.